let's see some problems based upon the consolidation theory this is the first problem that I took it is in a normally consolidated clay clay stratum of 3 meter thickness it has two permeable layers at its top and bottom so sand layers are there at top and bottom for, for the double drainage and the liquid limit and initial void ratio of the clay are is not 3.6 that is 36 percent and void ratio is 0.82 respectively while the initial overburden pressure at the middle of the clay layer is 2 kilogram per centimeter square and due to the construction of the new building the pressure increases by 1.5 kilogram per centimeter square compute the probable consolidation settlement so this is the soil strata and we have been given some data that is liquid limit is equal to 36 percent initial void ratio is 0.82 and sigma naught that is initial overburden pressure is 2 kg per centimeter square and increase in pressure is equal to 1.5 kg per centimeter square so in terms of effective stress we know that settlement formula is given as cc h naught upon 1 plus e naught log sigma naught plus delta sigma divided by sigma naught so here we know the e naught h naught is the total thickness that is 3 meter and sigma naught and delta sigma also we know just we don't know the compression index so for that we are given this liquid limit and it is not a remolded clay because it is a foundation material so it is undisturbed so here cc is given as in terms of liquid limit it is given as 0.009 wl minus 10 so cc is equal to 0.009 minus 10 and that comes out to be 0.234 and so the settlement can be given as 0.234 if you want to find out the settlement in centimeter so let's convert this into centimeter divided by 1 plus 0.82 log 2 plus 1.5 divided by 2 so here we don't need to worry about the units of this stress because it will cancel out and so settlement is equal to 9.37 centimeter so this is the answer this is the very easy question and after that let's see another this is a very good question because it has this low dispersion so let's understand that the question is the soil profile of a proposed site of a construction is shown a square footing carries a load of 1000 kilonewton so here it has a load of 1000 kilonewton is laid with its paid 1 meter depth below the ground surface so this is 1 meter this is 2 meter 2 meter by 2 meter so this length is 2 meter and determine the consolidation settlement of clay layer on account of construction there is geological evidence that clay is normally consolidated use 2 vertical to 1 horizontal for low dispersion to estimate the stress increase so when there is stratified soil and so we know at some point we know the stress and at another in another level we want to calculate the stress so for that this kind of load dispersion technique is used so let's say here if the load is p so we want to find out what is the what will be the load at some other level at a depth of edge so for that you will be given this at what rate the dispersion should be there so this 2 is to 1 is given so from here at this level if this increase length is z here so this stress can be given as at this level p by if p is the load at top level so below it will be if this is b so b plus z and if the other direction if it is a this kind of footing this is b and this is l so it will be l plus z so by this we can find out the new stress at this level apart from this this question is just similar what we have to do there will be some initial stress due to this overburden so we want to find out in clay and when when you are asked such a question so this load dispersion will be done up to the middle of the clay layer in the above question also the data was given for the middle of the clay layer so we always calculate 
this increased stress for the middle of the clay layer so now we will find out what is the initial overburden pressure and then there is in there is an increase in any overburden pressure due to this whatever the building's load is coming so here load is given so there will be some stress due to this load <clears throat> so we have to find this and then we can simply apply our formula that is delta h is equal to cc h naught upon 1 plus e naught log sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma naught so first we have to find the stresses so let's see what will be the initial stress and so initial stress we want to find out as i said at the middle of the clay layer so at this stress at this level so 2 meter here 2 meter here and 1.5 meter here so the initial stress sigma naught is equal to and the water table here is given here so we can write it as 16 into 2 that is the unit weight times depth plus this part will be in submerged condition so we can directly write the effective stress as 20 minus 9.81 times 2 that is the depth plus this is also in submerged condition so 19 minus 9.81 into 1.5 so from here sigma naught is equal to 66 Point one six five kilonewton per meter square and now we want to find out the delta sigma that is the increase in effective stress so we have been given the load thousand at this level so the thousand kilonewton load is being applied let's say the base of this footing so from here we want to find out this dispersion so this dispersion will be something like this that's what i have shown here so that we have to use this two two vertical to one horizontal rate so using that and so this depth from here this is one meter so this remaining depth here is one meter and this is two meter and up to this middle this is 1.5 meters 1.5 plus 2 plus 1 that is 4.5 meter so this is 4.5 meter <coughs> so 4.5 when vertical is 2 horizontal is 1 so when vertical is 4.5 the horizontal will be 4.5 upon 2 and here also 4.5 upon 2 so we can find out this increase by this formula p upon b plus z times l plus z which is equal to 1000 divided by 2 plus 4.5 by 2 and that is 2 plus 4.5 by 2 again so from here delta sigma is equal to 23.67 kilo newton per meter square so now we know sigma and delta sigma and what else is not given So the for the value of CC we have we'll have to find out and CC and void ratios compression index and initial void ratio this is also not given so for that we have been given this natural water content and specific gravity and liquid limit let me write down here so natural water content is 40 percent specific gravity is 2.7 and liquid limit is 60% so from natural water content we can find out the what is the what is the initial void ratio we know that SE is equal to WG so for this water content what is the void ratio from here we can find out that will be our E naught so this soil is in saturated condition because this water table we can see it is here so from this E naught is equal to 0.4 times g is 2.7 so e naught e is equal to 1.08 and cc is equal to as we know it is given as 0 0.009 wl minus 10 so cc is equal to 0 
now we can apply the formula that is delta h is equal to cch naught upon 1 plus e naught log sigma naught plus delta sigma upon sigma naught so putting the values cc is 0.45 into let's say we want to find this increase in mm so that is 3000 upon 1 plus 1.08 log initial stress was 66.165 66.165 plus delta sigma the increase in stress is 23.67 23.67 divided by 66.165 from here delta h is equal to 86.20 mm so this is the answer so the important thing to understand in this is the load dispersion and rest is just the calculation of effective stress and the calculation of increase in effective stress